No, I just very, very sore. Very sore. You will be very sore, won't you? I'm just gonna shine you. this light in your eyes. Yeah, open your eyes for me, my lovely. What time is it, Mum? Uh, not that late, Jules. My back's in agony. But he said I'll be very drugged up. Yeah, they'll give you lots of pain meds. Yeah. But he said it went as well as I could have gone. Mum, I'm in so much pain. You will be. But they, look, look at the care. Can you FaceTime James? You want me to FaceTime James? Yeah, okay. Done. Well, it does feel like you're never going to be able to, like, yeah. The out of pain, but yeah, you know it's going to get better. Then, right? And it does end, doesn't it? Was America worse than this one? Um, um, I think day one you were worse than this, yeah. Yeah, you do. I would think so. I think you were crying a lot of day one, yeah, in America. Um, and certainly not at your talking mom. much. <laughs> yeah, talking is like, yeah, I have to take a lot of breath. Yeah, but that's all right. And I think it will increase your lung capacity if you keep using them. So. Yeah, Up to you. I I think sitting up to be fair is like you need to go. Okay. Because they've done the dressing, so they put one dressing on top of another. This might take a while. So I'm trying to pull it, okay? Can you tell me when? Now. I'm pulling it now. How are you feeling? Okay. Good. So I've removed the dressing. Okay. But I just need to cut it because I don't want to pull it out. Take a deep breath. Are you ready? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Take a deep breath. It's out. It's out. Is it? Is it? Out, out. Look, look. Wow, I didn't feel anything. Oh. Hi, guys. So it's day two post up. Day one was horrendous. Like, very bad. I slept all day yesterday. Um, okay. couldn't Can even open my eyes, couldn't keep my eyes open for two seconds, tried to sit up, um, my blood pressure dropped too much, so they were like, no, you need to lie down. It was just a mess yesterday, wasn't I? You're all right. Everyone, I was there, Jim was like, you're doing great. My mum was like, you're doing great, but I just didn't really feel like I was at all. And I was meant to be going to the ward yesterday, but like, I didn't really progress that great, so I'm still in intensive care, but I'm going to the ward soon because I just walked and I'm so tall. I am so tall. It's hilarious. I stood up and I was like, I, I, I was like, I don't know if I like this. Can't do it. No, I'm so tall. Here's the video of me walking. Okay, so do you want to bring, if you bring your legs right off the edge for me, lovely. Okay, and then where do you want to pull up on me? Okay, just three, you go three, on to me. Three, three and three, yeah. yeah. Good. Where a um, thing I can hold when I walk. So we'll, we'll probably hold on to this or hold on to me, yeah. and then June can always bring me. I'm just going to make the ECG now, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Shall we do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Oh, look at you. I feel alright. 
people. Yeah, go under my arm. I'm not going to pull you, no. No. No, you're going to stand up through your leg. But we're going to be, we're both here on either side. Well done. <gasps> she is taller than me. Come and take my hand. So Whoa. don't walk anywhere just yet. Lovely. Just watch your feet on the line. Just stand, yeah? Be careful with the drip, yeah? Vicky, how are you doing? Good. Yeah? Getting all mixed up in the wires. Turn around. Yeah? You're feeling a bit dizzy? Yeah. Okay, let's turn around. Today's been a really good day. I didn't eat anything yesterday. Like, I was like a zombie, wasn't I? Did you visit? Yeah, you did. did. I was very zombie like. You ate the top of a banana. I ate a bit of a banana. Have you had some oh, yes, yeah, so it was six in the morning. After my surgery, I was like starving. So then I ate like a bit of jam butty. But then, like in the day, I was zombified. My nan and my mum visited me. Couldn't even like ugh, open my eyes. But I did get off oxygen straight away. And I haven't been put back on it, which is great. Um, I thought my arm was falling off. I was being all dramatic about my arm. Like, I didn't think there was any blood getting to my arm every time I shut my eyes like I felt like my arm was falling off so oh it was a horrible day yesterday and I just didn't eat anything I felt sick at work today woke up in pain slept okay woke up in pain got it managed with pills at about six in the morning and then about nine in the morning but I'm on this button still my best friend and um, but they took me off that it's like after one night last time, didn't they? Um, yeah, I think so. Maybe was... two nights. Agony. Did you have it on the ward at all? That no, as soon as I got to the ward, it was gone. Night. Oh, I've got all the, the like stitches out my neck and the tubes out my neck. I've got all the tubes out. My arms ready to go to the ward. I think I'm going to be in my own little room because I did have an infection. But let's do this, mate. Let's get out of ICU. I've been there too long. They've treated me so good, though. In wow. intensive care, they've treated me so well. I'm very, very lucky. It's my favourite part of the day. But it always goes too fast, the hour. Yeah, an hour and a half, okay. But my, my bed's not ready on the ward, so she can stay. See you later. Hey, guys. So, I'm not in a ward. I'm in... High dependency. High dependency, so... I don't need to be in the intensive care anymore. I'm not quite ready for ward, hence still being on morphine. I'd be guessing. Um, so I've got my own room, which is amazing. I can like, just like watch telly on my phone without having to put headphones in and worry like about, and I can FaceTime my mom if I'm in pain without like trying to be quiet with the other people like in the ward, so. I'm happy and I'm okay. And I'm just chilling out. It's about five o'clock. Be dinner time soon, but I've eaten so much today. So yesterday I didn't eat, but I've eaten like I've had two butties, cheese and crackers, I've had three ice cream pots. I've had what else have I had, Mum? Banana. Oh, two bananas. Cereal. I need a bit of moisturizer. Looks good. They haven't like kicked it out, which is nicer than yeah, okay. No. They might think I'm still on my hour. No. Mm. She's been here since. Like I should two. sit up a little bit before you feed me. And you might want to bring the chair forward. But I've been thing. so hungry today. Like starving. No, not starving. Like ravenous. Mm-hmm. No, but I mean too mm, hot. No. And then I wait. Start a little movie with my mum if she will. Yeah, sure. Not after after this. I don't know, it's an easy comedy. Okay. What do you think? Uh, me and Ali watched Bridesmaids yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, Put that out. Blended? Yeah, maybe blended. Okay. And I haven't slept really much today, so oh, I'm thinking I should have a good sleep. Ready for another day tomorrow, get out of bed. And I'll book in for a visit before I go. Mm-hmm. I'll try to anyway. And I'll see you when I see you, dudes.
every few months stop peeping. And the nurses take forever to come. Um, my morphine button's out. I don't know what the nurse has done. I'm just trying to sleep, but everything keeps peeping and she doesn't know. She doesn't know how to do it. But the meds I had at 11 are keeping me calm and pain free. I just want to sleep, but it's currently 1am. Morning. I don't know what day post up is. I think it's four. Day four post up, but I'm trying to feed myself. I'm struggling because I'm in a lot of pain. So I can't really sit up much more. I've got a sore stomach. My mum's coming at one, which is in three hours, but I had the worst night's sleep, so. I'm going to try and sleep tonight, I mean, now until my mama gets here. Just not enjoying these because I'm in so much pain. First one went down. They turned my button off. Oh my gosh, it's my stomach pain, yeah. I'm done, I can't do that. They turned my morphine button off. Like it ran out and then they didn't top it up. I didn't have it for like three hours. I was in so much pain. I'm gone. I need sleep. So today's a huge day. Today's a very, very big day. They want me to, a consultation with the pain management. They want me to come off this morphine button and it, you can press it every five minutes, but they said only press it when you feel like you need it. I haven't pressed it about half an hour. Um, oh, I'm gonna completely throw it down the drain. Um, I've had breakfast and then they've like half taken my catheter out to make sure my blood is like working. So I've got like a little like, it's like a little willy. So it's like this. And when I need to wait, I push that up and the wheel will come out. And I have to wait until, until this. And um, I think I need it to use it. But I might ask the nurse for help for the first time. Stress. I might, yeah, I might call the, yeah. I'm gonna call the nurse first time. I'm ready. Yeah? Yeah. doing good it gets to a point in the afternoon when i have i've when i have iv uh, antibiotics for an hour so i don't have pain meds for like an hour but like the, the staff is so short today that like when they were due to put the iv antibiotic in they didn't come for like half an hour and then they put it so it was like half an hour and then it's been an hour an hour 15 now it's been nearly an hour and a half and I haven't had any pain meds. It's very sore and I've got something in my teeth. Mm -hmm. Can't move. Everything's sore. And I did nearly faint this morning. It's been a bit of a weird day. But I walked a lot. I need to get my button back on. Probably for the last time. Looks confusing. Hey, what is it? Full time nurse. I'm full time mum. What did I say? The payers and I'm I haven't had meds in ages, by the way. I, something's holding me properly, man. Maybe, Maybe like an hour. None of the nurses and stuff. And she's kept me busy all day. What a legend. Okay. And she's about to feed me dinner. Delicious. For dinner, I have. I didn't eat that dinner. My mom bought me like p potatoes. Sandwiches. Uh. Sounds good. Mmm. <laughs> There's carrots or broccoli and there's broccoli. broccoli. 
But it's better for me, even though I prefer carrots. I'm not scratching here. Because um, my thalassemia. It doesn't look good, but it's mash. Sausage mash gravy and broccoli. Can't go wrong. Guys, so I got my period all in bed. Ooh. I had to have a bed wash. They weren't happy for me to have a shower yet because I haven't seen physio yet. Like, had a big bed wash. I'm all fresh. Got up and walked and sat in the chair. Um, and now my mum is shaving my armpits. Fun. My mum's been with me all day, which is amazing. Because I did have a mental breakdown, so she's been here for four hours now. And I'm a very, very lucky girl for that fact. But my finger's gone numb. Hello? Morning. Slept really, really well. I feel like they didn't come in to check my abs as much. Or I slept through it, so. I slept really well. And now I'm sat up being my breakfast. And I sat up, like, from lying down on my own before. Basically, she did a big down. Trying to get me off the morphine. Um, slowly. Got a pain management consultation. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Thanks. You look so nice. So I look awful. So Claire is just googled me and was watching BTT and has just subscribed to my channel. And so now she's gonna be on my channel. Oh my god, I look really rough. No, you don't. Hi. So we've been gabbing, we've been opposite each other, haven't we? We've become like best friends and I love her. Besties. Oh my god, honestly. And, uh, and she helped me out so much, like in the night and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell my kids I'm YouTube famous now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, baby. My mum has just put my shoes on. Six days post-op and I'm out. Today's been a bit hard. I'm still probably withdrawing from the morphine. Shattered. Gosh, I've had a nightmare there, but I'm leaving. Claire, yeah. say bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> gonna miss. I'm going. going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to talk to you now. I know. Yeah, so let me know who replaces me. But yeah, oh my gosh, it's like 10 at night. I'm going to discharge at 10 at night. We've had a nightmare. Good luck. Good luck. So I'm saying we should just take this wheelchair back to our hotel just for the shits and gigs, you know, for the laugh. And my mum's like, no. I'm saying it's quite a hard journey for me to push you with it. Go these ones. Yay! We're, we're out, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think people realise how long that surgery has been coming. By the way, two isn't minutes. it, Mum? And like the like the two months before it, my life was just like I didn't go a day without thinking about it, stressing, and I've just done it. Yeah, meant to leave the wheelchair in the hotel, but um, no, the hospital. In the hospital, yeah. But made us wait so long. We're going out. I'm very nervous about it. Um, so I've got a chair, I guess. 10 minute more, she said. I'm pretty nervous though, because we're leaving like all bed lying down facilities behind. So I'm nervous. I'm walking to the bus. That's my goal before I sit down. Hi. So I walk 0.1 of a mile, and I will get back out and walk after, but when we're at the pharmacy. Um, before I sit down, it's probably the furthest I walk being like out of surgery um and i'm still sat i guess which is good i assured you that you weren't dying I, you were right. I feel like i'm having a heart attack and a back spasm and stomach and a baby all at once and she doesn't want meds because and i don't want to take any meds because they make me discombobulated <laughs> which means just make me like, what do they make me? I don't know, you're spaced out. Don't know where you are. Yeah. Confused, dizzy. Confused, yeah. Uh, Anxious. Yeah. Sweaty, but not sweaty. I'm quite like, sweaty, but freezing. We're having a toss up between the side effects of the drugs and the pain. Yeah. 
because they really work for the pain. No Not diazepam the before, like, chilled me out. And then I fell asleep and woke up, like, so stressed out. Because I've stopped taking diazepam, gabapentin, I have really bad nerve pain, burning I can deal with, but stabbing in my heart I can't deal with. It's not actually in your heart, show where it is. I'm holding it here. My ribs. I'm struggling. Because my mum's a legend. All the coasters, ups and downs. It's not easy, this. Recovery log. No, I just want it to just go back. No, no, you want it to go forwards. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you just want to get back. Until when I was just pain free. Or forwards would be better, wouldn't it? Skip to six months from now. I think that's when the deal is two weeks from now, I reckon. It feels like it's never going to come. It will. I'm just a bit depressed. Yeah, but we'll get there. Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice, do I? Well, no. So Which is why I'm depressed, because I feel so trapped. <laughs> You're not trapped. No, but, but like, is. this is my reality now. <laughs> and there's just nothing I can do. Yeah, but it's a reality for a short period of time. Compared to life, it's a very, yeah. very short period of time. It is. It just feels crappy now. Because very much struggling today, aren't you? And she's slept most of the day, hasn't been able to walk yet. It's four o'clock and I've been knocked. But we're going to do it now, aren't we? Yeah. This is going to be all right. We've got this. It's a bad day. No, it's just so hard. It is hard. But no one ever said it would be easy. We knew it was going to be hard. But it gets so quick. No, but that's what I'm here for, to get you off and get you out. It doesn't have to be far, it doesn't have to be long, just some fresh air, okay? Oh, stop the vlog. God, that was loud. Is that what I did in that earlier video? It's made you quite the day. I walked for about 30 seconds outside. A minute. Um, and I cried three times, so I swear I cried three times in a minute. This is hard. And all the girls are on move it today and tomorrow. Oh shit. I saw it on the way in and I thought, hmm, is it an initiative? I need the backpack that's got the keys in. Welcome home. Where is it? Oh my god, I can't just get out cars anymore. <laughs> it's all in there. Nice, I'll stop filming because I'm going to help Helen.